Well, hello everyone. I have a silly grin on my face because this is the third time that I'm doing this video because the first time I was sideways and the second time uh, someone knocked on the door. Um, but I'm just gonna get right into it. Thanks for joining me today live. This is Cheryl Pace. Um, so I was listening to some information on YouTube. You know, there's so much that you can listen to on there. And I was listening to some information about the law of attraction. And the person who was speaking said, you know, when you start practicing the law of attraction and things actually start happening, when you talk about it one day and you're driving it the next or you're living in it the next, people are gonna come to you and they're gonna say, what in the world are you doing? How are you, uh, what is it that you're doing that, that's making all these opportunities come your way? And it's so funny because just the other day, that exact thing happened. My cousin messaged me. I uh, saw someone in town, they, they were asking me questions. Um, my cousin and I are, were pretty much on the same page with what we listen to and learn about. And he said, do you have any special exercises that you do regarding the law of attraction? Like how are these opportunities coming your way? Because he said, I am taking time out to visualize every morning, but I'm just not seeing the results that I'm hoping for. And I said, well, you know, I do try to stay positive and cheerful, try to keep my vibration and my energy high by listening to music, by exercising, by going outside, by staying thankful. Um, I, I do listen to motivational information every single day. And I said, but what I've noticed lately is I really am tuning in to my intuition more. Um, if I feel impressed to do something, even if it, feels, if it feels a little uncomfortable, even if it doesn't make sense, if I feel like I'm supposed to do it, I just do it. And I'll tell you what, I've been doing some crazy things lately, but without fail, something positive results from that. And um, I think that it's really important to know the difference though between um, feeling uncomfortable when it's the right thing to do and feeling uncomfortable when it's the wrong thing to do. So in other words, if something feels uncomfortable and it makes you feel nervous, but deep down you feel like it's the right thing to do, then I say push through it. Expand as a person and just get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable, you know, but just because it feels uncomfortable doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do. And you know, people I think have just gotten used to pushing their intuitions away. We've kind of trained ourselves to turn off that gut feeling, which is really our guidance system. Because as people say, you know, if you read it in a book or if you hear it on Google or if, uh, you know, you read it or your friends tell you or your, the doctor says it, it must be true. And so, you know, you, you kind of ignore that little feeling deep down. And so, uh, moms, I'm just gonna talk to you for a minute. Have you ever just kind of had a feeling that something was going on with your child and you took them to the doctor? The doctor said everything's fine, but you just kind of feel like, mm, I disagree with you. Well, you can either come right out and say, I disagree with you. I really think there's something going on and push the doctor to do something else. Or you don't want to, you don't want to disagree. So you go home, but you end up just turning right back around and going back to the doctor because something really is wrong and you were right. So that's just proof that your intuition really is working. Um, you may not be able to think of an example right now, but I bet you will later after listening to this, you'll think, you know, there were times when I really listened to my gut feeling and I turned out to be right. You know, our intuition and our feelings and emotions are really a God-given gift. They're our guidance system that helps us to know whether or not we're on the right track. And um, so, you know, regarding the question that my cousin had for me about the law of attraction, you know, it, it's more than just visualizing. It's more than creating a vision board and that kind of thing. It's um, you have to really listen to your intuition. That's a key factor. But the clincher, I mean, I think the, the thing that makes all the difference in the world is what I'm gonna to talk to you about tomorrow. I'm gonna to kind of leave you on a cliffhanger. 
Um, so tune in with me tomorrow if you want to hear the rest. I would really love it if you would give me a thumbs up, a little heart, maybe a comment if you got some value out of this. For all the people you know who watched my half of a video earlier, I do hope you you know you scroll back and listen to the rest of this and. Um, Definitely, definitely share this if you know someone who could benefit from it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow. It's really amazing. All right, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you then.